We need to get out of here. Jack? Victoria? Yeah, it's me. You should have followed my advice and never left that storeroom. I have a hard time following the advice of someone who first ties me up and then uses me as a punching bag. You know that wasn't my idea. Right from the beginning, I tried to make sure you wouldn't get involved. When this is all over, remind me to give you a box of chocolates as a thank you. Jack, I know all this seems wrong to you. Wrong? Betting money on a lame horse is wrong. Kidnapping a girl to sacrifice her to some phantom divinity is crazy. Jack, what? neither of us can stop the destiny of this girl. Destiny? What? Destiny? You keep repeating this word, as if in the name of destiny you could commit the most atrocious crimes. As hard as it might be to believe, I'd like to let that girl go too. She's certainly not responsible for this situation, but it's our duty to make sure that she fulfills the purpose for which she was born. The purpose for which she was born? And since when does Black Lily help girls fulfill their destiny? Black Lily? Do you really think I work for Black Lily, Jack? No? So what is it? A special partnership? A part-time job to round out your salary? Jack, Black Lily is just a pawn we use to get the girl here in New York. It's them working for us. And who is this us? The less you know, Jack, the better it is for the you. Illuminati. Victoria, who's behind this? I'm sorry, Jack. Maybe one day we'll meet again and I'll tell you everything. But I have to go now. I have a plane to catch. I gave specific orders that you and your friend be released after I leave. But don't try to follow us. It'd be pointless. Victoria, wait. Goodbye, Jack. Victoria. <laughs> This whole thing is ridiculous. Yes. I don't care if it's ridiculous or not. That girl is not leaving this airport. I'll stop her, even if it's the last thing I do. Well, about that. All right, weren't the hero to learn that they plan to sacrifice the girl to a divinity or whatever? To God, I guess. Did I completely miss that? Or it wasn't included? That is weird. Can I get up? There is anything here. Greta, do you have any ideas on how to get out of here? If I did, I wouldn't have been here when you got here. We have to get out before mm, the plane thankful. leaves. I'll find a way. Thanks for trying to save me, Jack. Well, we're not trying to save here, so I guess she has a point. What's this? From the signs on these tanks, there must be liquid propane gas in them. Oh. And what should okay. I use them with? Blow it up. Yes, it could work. Okay. Can we get up there? No. We are pretty close to actually do what I'm guessing. You know, what do you do with uh, propane tanks? You blow them up. But it will kill us too, no? And now let's get out of here. Greta, take cover. To what? Wow, that... no. Greta, I have to stop that plane from leaving. What are you going to do? I don't know yet. You get the car. It's hidden in the trees near the entrance. The keys are on the dash. Okay. Keep the engine running. We need to leave as soon as I get the girl. Jack. Yes? Be careful. There's no time to be careful. Not this time. I think this is the dialogue from the start. Greta, go! Also, that propane tank should have killed us. That makes no sense. It's too late. And someone shoots you. It looks like you're too late, Del Nero. What are you I'm doing happy. here? Why aren't you on that plane? I hate traveling. I'm not the kind of guy who crosses the desert on a camel. I prefer the comfort of the big city. Moreover, had I left, I would have missed the chance to deal with you. You made me look ridiculous in the eyes of the organization, and I don't have any intention of letting you get away with it. And what do you want to do? Kill me? I can see it on your face that you've never shot anyone. You're not that kind of guy. You send your men to do your dirty work. You're right. I must I've never shot anyone. Even though many men and women died because I ordered it. How brave. But you know, there's a first time for everything. I'm dead. There is nothing else I can do. The end. <laughs> Emily, Greta. I'm sorry. I couldn't protect you. I hope the game doesn't end this way. 
It's over. I'm dead. Emily, Greta, I'm sorry that I couldn't protect you. you I let myself get knocked off by the first idiot that came around. Tomorrow, mm. I'll be one of the many names that fill the newspaper's crime report. Or maybe not even that. Maybe they'll just throw my body in the East River, or in some dump. No one will realize I'm gone. Except for that stingy Slavonsky when he'll come to collect the rent. Nice life. Who knows what kind of place this is? I only see strange white lights in front of me. You speak a is for this a heaven? <laughs> Let's not kid ourselves. Heaven isn't the place for a washed up detective with a drinking problem. It's got to be hell. At least I'll see a lot of my old friends. Did we really fucking die? What the hell is going on with this I scheme? I have no idea. The story. But hell would be different. Like you know? Fire, flames, strange creatures with horns. There's just water here. Water and strange hanging wires. A huge clock suspended in midair. I know I should be surprised, but I doubt this is the strangest thing I'll see in this place. Huh. It seems to have stopped. It Can seems I to have... Push it the in. hands aren't moving. The hands... I don't have anything with me. Not even my cigarettes. <laughs> I can't do anything with it. Is there some way to rewind time? In here? I have no idea. They didn't. That's funny. Or an afterlife. That's a good joke. Are we going to meet Son? A yes, we are. In the middle of hell. I'm starting to like this place. Perdition. <laughs> nice name for a cafe. Yeah. I hope they give drinks on the house, because I left my wallet in my other life. There's a guy at the bar. Some, isn't it? Jack, it's been ages. Yeah. Sean? Right. Haven't seen you for a while. What is this place? This is no place, and is nowhere. Am I dead? Yes, Jack. You're dead. Wait. Like me. Well, if this is hell, it isn't too bad. True. The booze is free, and you don't have to worry about your liver. You're already dead. I'm sure you have a few questions for me. Ask what you want, but I'm warning you, we don't have much time. Where did I didn't think that time would be a problem here. Yeah. It counts more than you can imagine. Come on, Jack. Ask what you want to know. It's cryptic. Why did you lie at Valenti's trial? Oh, I thought you'd ask me that. I spent a year in the clink for that. I think you owe me. You're right. The answer is simple. The most obvious one. Money. You sold out for money? Right. A police's salary wasn't enough to pay me old man's debts. He loved to play them horses. And he was in deep with the Valenti family. That good for nothing. He was a bad father and an even worse gambler. He bet it all on the horses and never won once. We were at the track the day my sister disappeared. Too focused on watching that damned horse that no one would have placed a buck on to realize that his daughter wasn't there anymore. My old man. A man that the world would have been better off without. He racked up so many debts that I would have needed two lives to get the money together. And Valenti knew it. That's why he offered me a solution to the whole problem. Both his kids had been arrested for booze trafficking. The judge gave him a year in the slammer each. But those two brats, spoiled by their mob father, wouldn't have lasted a week in prison. Valente's idea was simple. I was supposed to get his kids out of this mess by saying that I was the one who committed their crimes. I would have been discharged from the police, and I would have served their sentence. In exchange, me old man's debts would have been like they'd never happened. But I didn't know your name would come up at the trial, Jack. You were supposed to be left out of this whole mess. Why haven't you ever told me this story? The week after the trial, me old man died. According to the police, some crazy guy put a bullet in his back during a bar fight. Funny coincidence, especially considering that the day before, a guy tried to stab me in Harlem for no reason. Arturo Valente wanted me dead. His kids were free. 
He got what he wanted, and killing me was the easiest way to cover his tracks. Had I told you this story, he would have tried to kill you too. I decided to leave New York and move to Los Angeles, thinking that I could leave everything behind me. But you can't forget your past. No one wanted a corrupt ex-police officer underfoot. It was impossible to find a job. Until one day, when some fat guy comes up to me in a bar and offers me a job, I'd have to kill a guy who was in Los Angeles on business. A guy comes out of nowhere and offers you a job as a hitman. What kind of story is this? I thought the same thing. The fat guy showed me a photograph of the future victim, sure that I'd accept. And he was right. I did. The guy in the photograph was Arturo Valente. Because of him, I didn't have a family or a job anymore, and the only thing I had left was a thirst for revenge that only an Irishman can understand. I did the job, and so I started working for Black Lily. Good story, huh? Maybe I'll write a book about it one day. I wonder if there are any publishers around here. Maybe I'll ask around. All right. What am I doing here? You're dead. You try and understand. <laughs> Understand what? What destiny is. Destiny? I'm just a private detective who spends half of what he makes on booze, and the other half to pay the rent for an office that looks like a dump. What destiny do you think I might have? I'm not talking about your destiny, Jack, but the girl's. She's just a little girl, kidnapped by a wacky archaeologist from who knows where. So, you really think that Professor Zendler was nuts? You think that those dreams you had were due to exhaustion? That it was only a series of coincidences that brought you here? A coincidence that your friend with the red hair knew Marsetti? A coincidence that the owner of the dive you live in is the same guy who yeah. holds the necklace? Jack, that girl can change the future. If she could really do what you say, don't you think she'd have done something to avoid all this? I don't know how it works. I kill people. I don't study ancient prophecies. But I do know one thing. If you're here, you've been given a chance. What are you talking about? Coming here, you must have seen some sort of floating clock. Yes, too peculiar not to notice it. That's your life, Jack. And if you are here, the hands have stopped. But you can go back. You mean I can be resuscitated? I'll be walking around New York like one of those zombies from horror <laughs> novels? It doesn't work like that. When you go back, you won't remember this place, and you'll do the same things you already did. Great. I can't live, but I can die as often as I want. Right. Or maybe something could change. Destiny could give you a second chance. How? You won't know until you try. Why are you here then? Why have you done that? Goodbye, Sean. Goodbye, Jack. Weird. The game story took a turn to the quite weird. Well, that's not the bad thing, actually. That's one of the more interesting things about this game. I guess I'm going back to drag to the clock. So, what can I do then? Let's see. Brrrr. And what do you want to do? Kill me? I uh -huh. can see it on your face that you've never That's shot anyone. That's why we're having You're not that kind of guy. You send your men Perhaps. to do your dirty work. You're right. I've never shot anyone. Even though many men and women died because I ordered it. How brave. Something? But you know, there's no. a first time for everything. It was destiny, Del Nero. Fuck your destiny. <laughs> okay. How is it possible that I'm still alive? Sean's bottle of rye stopped the bullet. Who would have thought? Saved by a movie cliche. Oh, he doesn't remember. Right. Okay. Sean, it looks like I owe you my life. You're a lucky guy. You're the one they call the Turk. And you're the detective they're all talking about. Are you here to avenge the death of your friend, Marzetti? My friend Marsetti? I hope you're joking. I wanted him dead more than you did. I never liked him. The way he treats women is awful, and his joints are as disgusting as the people who go there. So what do you want from me? You're more important than you believe, and I need you for my plans. What plans? I don't have to tell you. 
What makes you think I'll go along with your plans? I'll take you to the girl. Why would you do that? Let's say I have an interest in throwing a monkey wrench in Ms. Diaz's hmm. plans. I see. So what do you want to do? Are you coming with me? When are we leaving? As soon as my man convinces your red-headed friend to come with us. What does Greta have to do with all this? You're all involved. Even the most insignificant extra can change the plot of a whole film, De Nero. And I don't want that to happen. I'm a perfectionist. I've already seen your perfectionism in action. You'll have time to complain later on, De Nero. We have a plane to catch now. Haha. <laughs> I hope you don't have problems with the heat, because where we're going, they say the sun could kill you. Traveling with you? I think the sun is going to be the least of my problems. I'm starting to understand why Miss Diaz is so fond of you. I've known you for five minutes, and I like you already. I hope you aren't upset that the feeling isn't mutual. Don Nero, forget everything that you think you know about this story. You don't know anything. You've never seen the dark face of a god. The sun is already high what when you take the off. Fuck the is going on? flies into the sun and the enormous ball of fire envelops the plane until every bit of its metal fuselage disappears. For a moment, I think that that's exactly where we're headed, going to challenge the sun, immense and unreachable, considered a god since ancient times. But before takeoff, I glanced at the flight plan, and I found out that our destination is slightly closer. The city of Damascus, Syria, that's where we're headed. Ok. Is that a cliffhanger? Yes, it is. I guess they expected the, to make a sequel to this game. Well, they may actually make a sequel to this game. But wow, <laughs> that's quite a way to end the game. Maybe there is a scene after this. Alright, I guess final thoughts. Uh, well, I guess I will say whatever I have been saying while playing the game. The story was interesting, the graphics were not really great, but serviceable for a small studio. Uh, the game desperately needed the point of interest button or uh, things you can interact with button because due to the graphics and that you can't actually uh, zoom around it was hard to see a lot of things and that was frustrating some of the puzzles were whatever which is a classic problem with adventures some didn't even need to be there like the puzzle holding the lamp which wasn't hard but why would you put a puzzle to remove a lamp that made no sense whatsoever the story was again one of the most interesting parts of it. It was weird in a good way. The voiceover was pretty horrendous. It was not good at all. And I like that uh, one guy plays four characters. <laughs> that was weird. I mostly enjoyed the game, but all in all it was mediocre. I would probably play a sequel if it came out, but I would like it a lot more if the puzzles didn't go so weird on the second part of the game. Also the ending was uh, underwhelming. Actually I really liked the Perdition Cafe, but they needed to have more, way more dialogue there. When you spoke to Son and um, the ending was really really abrupt. And left a ton of things unresolved. Not a good way to make a game, for me anyway. Anyway, thank you for watching, subscribe, like, leave a comment if you want to, and I will see you in the next series.